Hello, good people. This is Karen McKnight with Ali Yoga Wellness, and this is our Lord's Temple session for this week. And today I have with me, I call her Dr. Alexis. Uh, she, I worked with her through uh, JCPS through a research that was being conducted by the University of Virginia. Yes. Commonwealth. Just the University of Virginia. The University of Virginia. And uh, it was in the schools, elementary schools. I worked with the adults and faculty. Uh, and then there was another layer of instructors. And they were JCPS teachers, teachers also yes. trained for this. Some of your kids were in class. Uh, it was called the Compassionate Schools Project. Right. And it's still ongoing. Mm -hmm. It's still ongoing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And uh, I want Alexis to tell you a, a few things about it before we get to our chair practice. Mm -hmm. So the, the Compassionate Schools Project, like you said, involves a curriculum that schools have been implementing for their elementary school students. And there's one of the teachers in the building um, is implementing the curriculum that is designed to support students' social and emotional skills and their well-being. So skills that are related to wellness and well-being. So things like managing their emotions, um, under developing self-awareness, um, body awareness, and then practicing things like social skills and community building mm -hmm. and doing that in the school setting really as a way to um, value and attend to the needs of each child as a whole person. Um, so we have more than just academic needs. We also have emotional needs and social needs and um, and other wellness needs. And then another layer of that, which you were an amazing part of, is the, the program that was in place <laughs> to support staff in um, in some of the same ways. So the, the program, the COM program, mm -hmm. was in place to um, support faculty and staff well-being um, by giving them an opportunity to learn and practice some skills related to mindfulness and mindful movement, um, self-compassion, and um, physical wellness right, as well. Right, exactly. And I, I, just now, just talking, I reminded that um, Desiree Bush, mm -hmm who is a member, <laughs> she was the principal at the last school that I taught. McFerrin? At McFerrin, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, so uh, she was so very supportive and one of my um, teachers that she, not Desiree, but another teacher, she had multiple sclerosis mm -hmm. and as she was a consistent participant, her doctors were giving her good results. Oh, wow. She was, I mean, good, you know, she was getting good results and uh, they told her to keep doing that, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's very, um, it's very helpful and can change, life changing. Mm -hmm. It's very life changing. It's true, and I think you know you're right when you are when you're engaged in it consistently mm -hmm. and practicing over time. Even though what we're doing is just a, a short time period, mm -hmm. so the program that you taught, you know, 15 to 20 minutes in the morning. Not like a long, you know, even a, you know an hour session right. or something like that. But fifteen right. to twenty minutes in the morning mm -hmm. is enough mm -hmm. to give you that added boost to well-being. Um, and for some people, um, what we found in our um, research with the Calm program, for some people that has been um, improvements in things like blood pressure or their ability to regulate stress um, hormones in the body. Um, reductions in physical symptoms of pain and other um, mm -hmm. physical complaints, um, and just a, a sense of better emotional well-being as well. Right, right, okay. Uh, I think we're ready to do some yoga, some chair yoga, and we break it. Uh, what do we call it now? Breakout? When we're doing a seminar and you're going through <laughs> your breakout rooms, right? Okay, yeah. Because yoga... In general, is actually made up of three parts: that physical movement, mm -hmm. and then the mindfulness or meditation. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness is what we taught. That's a whole other program, okay? <laughs> and then the other one is the breathing. Yes. 
that you uh, because each one is a, a system developer on its own mm -hmm. because exactly. each one of those is a system of the body yoga the word yoga itself means to yoke join or unify and that's what we do and as they do as we do it we become happier so we're going back to our chair and uh, show you a few things for today and you know to join us so grab yourself a chair armless and uh, have a seat and I'll just talk you through it which is we'll sit near the edge of our chair I'm checking the professor <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll ten toes are pointed forward we're going to do our three breath practice to open our cells to centering with our hand on our heart. It's where the treasure chest of emotions are. And then on our belly, it is where the center of courage lies. And together, we'll breathe in. Then exhale. Feel the relaxation start to move around your shoulders, settling you down, soothing you. Pull your navel in deeply. Then breathe in. And your belly and your chest get real big, like at the doctor's office. And then breathe out. Contract your belly in. Let your lungs collapse empty of air and then breathe in this last time notice around your neck and your shoulders and even your elbows as you start to relax as you exhale you can put your hands on your thighs open your eyes or keep them closed and just breathe at your own pace for a, a couple of rounds of breath Good. So that's part of our uh, breathing practice and meditation in one. So let's hold on to the sides of our chair. And we're going to open our chest more by closing our back muscles and shoulder blades. So as you inhale, as we, we're always breathing, right? <laughs> let's be <laughs> conscious of what we're doing. As you inhale, the front of you gets really big, right? Well, now pull your elbows toward each other. And that's happening because your shoulder blades are also folding in as if you're closing a book. And your chest is opening as if you're opening a book at the same time. And then as you exhale, let's reverse those movements. Pull your chest in, just like just your exhale. Just make it as deep as you will. And your body is moving in time with your breathing. Your elbows and shoulders are coming forward, and you can take your chin to your chest. So just remember the instructions, and let's do it again. Breathe, inhale, big. You can raise your chin. Exhale, deep. Inhale back to neutral. Let's straighten our arms out, palms pointed forward, and Ali Yoga Butterfly Movement up. Inhale your arms up. We're just flying on the air. <laughs> Turn your palms out. Exhale as you bring your arms down. Turn your palms forward or out, and it's a shoulder rotation, so feel it all the way up to your shoulder. And you're inhaling up. So this time we're going to hug ourselves down the front with our arms, one on the shoulder, one on that hip, and that's the exhale. And you're welcome to close your eyes. Give yourself a big hug. We've been missing our hugs. 
Think of your favorite person. Give yourself that hug, a bear hug, if you will. And you are soothing yourself. The loved ones we miss, the ones we want. Big hug. Great. Now as you inhale, unwind your arm. We're coming to T position. Arms at shoulder height, palms down. Turn your palms up and overhead we'll go as we inhale and we'll bring our palms together in prayer position. Exhale your hands down to your heart. Prayer changes things, so let's press into the heels of our hands. And pull your shoulder blades toward each other and feel the strength of your prayer translating up to your back muscles, your shoulder muscles. Now let's make a prayer fist. Okay, interlace your fingers and squeeze really tightly, whatever really tightly is for you, and bring your elbows together. And you know I have my Bible verses <laughs> here and there. The ones I want you to remember in connection with the Lord's temple and uh, what's going on with it. Just things you've heard before, such as the healing is in the blood. So what we've actually done right now is kind of slow the blood down as we have, uh, as we're squeezing our fingers. But then as we exhale and release that blood flow, to go freely it's moving even more stronger and it is doing a lot of things that the blood does that involve the healing now turn your palm toward me and push from the heels of your hand and feel that sensation change a bit strengthen your abs reach from your shoulders and push through your hands the heels of your hand you feel that Yes. Now let's come back to prayer position. Turn your palms towards you. Unlace your fingers and prayer position. We're going to inhale up and out. And down. Okay, so the top of you has got a little warmth going on and blood flow. Let's move down. How are we going to do that? How about we do some side bends, okay, from right where we are. And let's start with our left arm as we inhale. Let's take one arm up. Now bend really deeply on the right side. Pull that bottom rib down to the, I'm looking at the body parts, down to the top of your pelvis. <laughs> Squeeze your waistline, okay? We know the kids, um, especially the babies, the doctors are looking for hand-eye coordination. We need it throughout our life. So look up at your fingers and let's follow our fingers as we inhale and we're reaching our arm out in T position you can reach far from the shoulder but we're bringing the hand down to the chair so that we can go to the other side so just look catch your fingers with your eyesight reach way out and way up and squeeze way down And you're going to feel, oh, yeah, keep looking at your fingers. <laughs> I went somewhere else. <laughs> okay, reach up. We're going to do that again. But this time we're going to emphasize the lengthening instead of the squeeze. So go to the other side. And so it's the lengthened side, the extended side that we are noticing encouraging more than the squeeze. Because the squeeze, our contraction, has done its job. Look up to your fingers, inhale, and you know you can come back to this video at any time um, that it plays on its different platforms. Look over to your other fingers, and remember to emphasize the lengthening on this side. Look up at your fingers, and bring them down. Good, and look back center. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some leg work. So make sure your toes are pointed forward. They're not too far out. They're not too far back. You want your ankle to be directly under your knee as best as you can tell. We want to align the joints 
this is the way that the Creator has made us to help us move. And uh, you line yours up as best as you can with that in mind. Hand on your thigh. Sit on the edge of your chair, right? You're about to lift off. Press down into the chair with your bottom. And inhale, tight core, and lift up that leg. But your hand, the weight of your arm and your hand is on that thigh. Do you feel your thigh muscles kick in? Do you feel it? Definitely. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And with this, we're also strengthening the hip and the knee. Good job. And as you exhale, go ahead and release this. So these are just nice little demonstrations. You can do these. We're going to the other side. Uh, we do want to practice these longer. It, and Go ahead. Lift up. Remember the other instructions? I have so much to tell you. And you're pressing down. Make that thigh muscle activate. Yoga is a resistance training. Sometimes it is just with a different mindset or understanding from what you already know. And uh, that's okay. We have a lot to learn. Go ahead. We're pushing up. And then our exhale allows us to come on down. Okay? Let's stand now. So just stand up beside your chair. You have a length inside of your mat. So we're um, going to... How about we do... Um, I won't say push-ups, but what do we call them? Plank. <laughs> what are they called in yoga? Plank. Yes, <laughs> yes. We're gonna plank for you, okay? And as you heard, is very similar to a push-up. More probably the alignment than mm -hmm. we would be uh, changed a bit. And that alignment is shoulders directly over your wrist, and the elbow usually just lines up on its own, okay? But we want those elbows to point to the knees. To your toes as you lower yourself down if you're going to lower down you can stay right here you look forward go ahead and exhale in place push through your heels and then as you exhale bend your elbows to lower yourself down as far as comfortable for you or most important as far as high enough so that you can push yourself back up the lower you go the more work it will be for you. So you uh, tailor it to your strength and then exhale down and inhale up. Let's go to downward dog. How did that? Dr. Alex heels to the floor. So now you're pushing into the heels of your hands. You're not pushing the chair away. So be mindful of what it is you're doing, but push your hips way back. Now, upward dog. So you're rolling onto your toes. And now instead of stopping in plank, your pelvis lowers down and your chest opens up to the wall and your chin, you can even move up to the sky if you like. Push down in your hands. Lots of upper body work. Using the weight shifting of your lower body. Come back to downward dog. And then we'll go to the, um, some yoga, I will not say favorites, but they more more commercialized. You see them a lot. Would you be the downward dog coast? I mean, uh, uh, warriors. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's step our left foot forward so that our knee just touches the chair, and then the right toes, you, the heel is up. So you want to pivot the toes, turn the knee forward. I'll understand that direction one day. <laughs> and now turn. Because the forward changes that. If I'm saying the forward is whatever's in front of our eyes. So we're turning our shoulders to square up with the bent knee. And really, the further down you go, you'll have more control. And you have more space for your movement. That's part of the control. So square your shoulders up to that front knee. We'll do warrior one. We're not pushing the chair away. So face your hands, palms to each other, fingers spread wide. Good. You'll feel your weight shift to your back foot. So let that happen. 
and definitely press into the back edge of the back foot. Let's go to warrior two, keeping your feet where they are. You're opening your arms and you're turning forward <laughs> with that knee. <laughs> I'm losing my balance, but keep your focus and reach from the shoulders. Your fingers are trying to touch the wall. Let's do it on the other side. Cartwheel your hands to the chair. Move into downward dog. So unpivot your foot. Step back with the other foot so that you can now step forward with the right foot <laughs> and pivot on the left toes, bringing that heel down. Go into, if I didn't name it before, it was Warrior One. Now the front is the back, right? So turn to the foot. The front turn toward that lengthened leg. At the same time as you're bringing your arms down. Look over the front fingertips. Back arm up. Front arm comes down. We're going to uh, cartwheeling the hands. Sorry. So you can go to downward dog. And then walk on up to the chair. I think we should be coming to the closing now. So just have a seat back to where you were. You can sit on the edge of your chair as you had before. And remember that the children lead the way. So, oh, I'm going to get so cliche right now. But <laughs> teach them well. And um, understand that the last becomes first because they are the future, even though they are a generation behind us. They come here knowing some things we just learned <laughs> and so did we but we're going to go ahead and close our practice out hand on our heart of emotions on our abdomen our belly for courage and together let's breathe in and out now feel your breath travel up to the front of you breathe in is going up to your forehead, out the crown of your head, up to the Lord's ear, and exhale as you bring back in God's grace into your body, into your Lord's temple. Feel the relaxation, feel love, respect, kindness. From your toes, feel those sensations. Breathe in. It travels up your body to the heavens and atmosphere to the universe. And as you exhale, draw in the feeling of love. Allow it to travel through your body, throughout your body, so that you can in turn pass it to the world. And with that, close out with the divine in me recognizes and respects the divine in you and your place in the universe. Namaste and amen. And the crowd goes crazy. <laughs>